Sorrow nooms ba. Sorrow nooms ba. Why have you not got me in my cassettes yet? Yeah, I'm talking to you. And I know this isn't my normal voice that I use. But, whatever. Where are my cassettes? What is up guys, I'm back again, also known as the Black Gentleman, and I'm here today to answer Soundwave's question, where are those cassettes? Well guess what, I finally got them, I had to go through Amazon to do it, but I finally got them, no secondary black market, uh, second hand, whatever, you know, that $20 BS, they want to charge for some tapes, I got these for the retail price, finally. I know I'm late to the game, but I finally got the tapes. And I'm gonna cut them open right now. Man, I gotta tell you guys, this, this really has been long overdue. I don't know why. I couldn't find these things anywhere. I feel like everybody was having the same problem. You know, of all the MicroMasters, these are like, like the most sought after. And distribution sucks. I really wanted to get them out in the wild, but it was never gonna happen, apparently. <sighs> and here they are. I'm glad I, I'm glad I don't collect things in package because this thing this thing is all kinds of bent the hell up, as you can see. And the funny thing is, I really wanted this just just for laser beak. I think Ravage honestly looks like ass. <laughs> for Ravage, uh, I think I'm gonna try to find the uh, uh, the Ocular Max Jaguar or maybe the MP Ravage to replace this one. I'm probably gonna keep this in tape mode and just keep it in sound wave chest, something to be there. But this laser beak, yeah, that's the one I want. He's perfect. Very perfect. But yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna cut these things open and uh, give you guys my critique. Hopefully, hopefully they were worth the time I spent talking after them. Who knows? Anyway, just stand by. I'll be right back with my opinion. And I'm back. I took the liberty of just going ahead and putting them in the cassette mode. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm. Pardon me again. Yeah, guys. Uh, Laser Beat was easy as I'll get out. I didn't even bother reading instruction on this one. But uh, when it came to Ravage, uh, he had a certain hinge back here that you had to bend. So I actually did read instructions on him. Uh, from first impressions, as I knew already, I like Laser Beat best. But cassette mode, I like Ravage. I like the uh, black, the silver paint on the sides here for detail, and this cloud insignias. I think overall gives this tape a little bit more, uh, a little bit more flavor, as it were. Uh, as for the comparisons, you know, I don't, I don't have many Micro Masters, uh, but I do have uh, two, the two jets here. I forget their names, but uh, that's how they compare as far as, far as size goes. If that helps any. And there you go. And uh, also, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how they fit inside a sound wave. That's the reason where anyone buys these things. So let's go ahead and go up on camera. Sound wave has been very patient. I'm totally kidding. He has not been patient. You saw. You guys saw what you guys saw earlier in the video. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and pop him open. And let's see how this looks inside. And get in there, and finally, there's, there's something in that cavity. I'm totally ecstatic, finally. And uh, let's see, um, this, this is a siege. This is a siege deal. You know they have uh, everything can be battle armored up or use the gun. So they have these little pegs here. Pull up there. So now. If any five millimeter port hole, you can just plug that in here and you get kind of a shield thing going on there. Or uh, you can plug it into the shoulder. 
And you still get it, you know, more of a, some, some kind of like a, like a briefcase size shield. But uh, <clears throat> ultimately, I think uh, these guys really need a 5 millimeter port because they are what they are. They are like his little, you know, cassette tapes. So they, they serve no other purpose. They, I don't see why they need to be a shield or anything, but I guess maybe just for duality's sake. And, and they can go on anywhere where there's a five millimeter port, you know. Uh, can, he can go on the back, you know, storm back here, I guess. Whatever you want to do. Hopefully, we'll get a uh, get some more tapes. Maybe a rat bat, and uh, I like to have a rat bat and a buzzsaw. Um, Rumble and Frenzy would be nice, but give them the kind of job. But then on Ravage here, I don't know how they would make, you know. A bot that's more humanoid size folding than it is, but if they can, that'd be nice. But anyhow, um, let's go ahead and take out. There's a beast. Oh, and he just fired out of there. That has some power to it. Uh, and he has the same thing. I think his port's right here. His uh, peg. Get out. There we go. So same deal. You know, plug it in. Plug it in any five minute port. Uh, let's see how Ravage fits inside. I tried to put him in earlier just for a test, but he didn't want to go in as easy. I should just kind of shove him in there. There we go. I think overall he, he too looks not only look better in tape mode, he actually, but he actually looks better in his chest. So he's he's probably going to want to get the duties to just stay in that chest. So let's pop him out. And yeah, I figured he, he got got lodged. But anyone watching this video can explain to me maybe why this isn't fitting well. Maybe I haven't gotten transformed correctly. Why does it want to stay in there? I don't know. But yeah, that's that's the tape that's the tape mode at least. Bring you guys back down. Like I said, ain't much to ain't much the transformation at all. Matter of fact, let's see if I can, if I can get my camera to situate. I can probably just uh, transform these on camera. Now. So I click the R. Let's fold these down. Uh, the head probably be the hardest part. You can especially don't have nails. It's my I bitten my nails off, so probably gonna need a little tool here to pop that out of there. And there we go. Got that out. Come on up. And this is why I don't like transform things on camera. Things want to fight me. <laughs> I don't know why it is. Come on. There we go, finally. Alright, then fold that up. Alright, I just popped it out of the socket. Yeah, guys, this is why I stopped transforming on camera. <laughs> just bear with me here. Just bear. God, Almighty. There we go. There we go. There, there. I got a transform. Anyhow, uh, speaking on him, let me uh, let me restrict my camera yet again so I can get a better, a better angle here. I know, totally unprofessional. <laughs> okay, now as far as uh, this looks goes, yeah, again, like I said before, this is by far the best. Uh, I guess this is more of his Cybertron mode because. His eyes are one big visor versus being two separate eyes. And that's alright. Um, apparently, he's got a little bit of paint too, actually. Uh, the wings are look, look, look to be black plastic with uh, red accents and silver accents. You guys can see that. I'm getting my camera to focus on it. So, yeah. So, I uh, know, yellow paint for the eyes. Has a logo here on the back. I swear, guys, give me one second here. Let me uh, try and get this thing to focus. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. So everything comes out of detail. So he's he got some good detail. All right. Now moving on to Ravage. Let's see. Let's see if I can get. Let's see if I can get him on camera. If I remember correctly what I did, you gotta pull out the feet here. And I'm gonna pull all his feet out. There we go. 
And you have home. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> huh. Now I'm, trying, I'm trying, now I'm drawing a, a damn blank what I did. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Fold. Yeah, fold these down. Fold out there. And you want to fold this whole thing. This whole, this whole symbol here in the middle out. And. Oops. And fold these out. And pull these down. Well, pull the feet down, I should say. I know it's hard to follow me because my hands are so big. But believe me, transformation is not too tough. But yeah, like I said before, this is normally why I cut away on transformations because it's like it takes me entirely too long. I mean, even when I miss a figure, you know, if I, no, no one really wants to watch me transform things. But, uh, there we go. Both legs. And you just fold these down. And his head's right here in the back here, which I might need to... Well, I might need a tool to get it out. But nope. And there he is, transformed. And that's Ravage. I know, very... Very... Oh, this is gonna stand. But, uh, let me get my camera straight again. Sorry about that, guys. Well, I know a lot of my time is spent with my camera here. I need to get, I need, probably need to get a better tripod. But anyhow, bear with me. Uh, anyway, as far as Ravage goes, yet again, he he is he is my least favorite. He he's just so stocky, and his proportions are just horrible. But he does have, let's see, right here, focus in. He does have a uh, red paint app for the eye. Both sides, and black with he's all black plastic with silver with silver paint accents on both of his legs, front and back, and a nice constable, which is very good. And he has a signature of laser laser beams, laser cans on the back, or I think, they're, I think they're missiles, missiles on the back, I believe. He doesn't have a tail, which is kind of weird because I figure figure average is supposed to have a little tail. But yeah, this this is him. And let's see if I can get him stand. There we go. So yeah, this is Laser Beacon Ravage. And uh for a another comparison. If you just give me a second. On this one I'm going I'm on this one I'm going to spare you guys a transformation on the size comparison. I'm not transforming these two sword guys. Just give me a second, I'll be right back. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Alright, and we're back here for that size comparison. And uh, this is how it looks next to uh, Viper and Vesper. I, I swear to God, I cannot remember this, these sword dudes' names. But uh, here you are in comparison to how they look with them. And these, are, I'm sorry, but these are the only other MicroMasters I, I have. Um, I didn't really care that much for the MicroMaster line of these things. But these are definitely the only two that I really want, especially in these last two waves. But yeah, that's that's how they look. Now, get these guys out of the way now. Um, let's see. I think there's a way for Laserbeak that he's supposed to be able to cling on to Soundwave. I'm going to try to show you guys, there you guys that on camera. So let's see. Uh, let's see here. How is this supposed to work? Pretty sure. I see the notches, so let's see if he'll stand there. And he has two notches right here. Oh, four notches. One here, one here, here, and here. I heard a Megatron has the wheel, but I don't I don't have a Megatron from this line, so I won't be able to do that. But yeah. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. That looks great. That looks so great. You know what, guys? I mean, right here. This this was worth this was worth the ten dollars. I I this is this is it. This is it for me. I think this is how I'm gonna more likely pose my um, my sound wave. I'm probably gonna put Ravage in tape mode and put him back in the chest. But yeah, Laser Beak looks really awesome on the shoulder. 
mesh over uh, was formed. Yes, I mean, my God, this is awesome. I wish we had a uh, buzz on. Because I would love to have uh, laser beak here, maybe perch up, buzz all here, or even a rat bat. Matter of fact, I want all his flyers. Give me Hasbro, give me all the flyers. Because this, this looks so good. So good. Man. All right. Well, given the, given the nature of these figures, uh, this is going to be a shorter video, and this is basically it. But, man, this looks really good. Man. Nerdgasm, man. <laughs> Better check my draws. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that looks awesome. This is definitely what I remember from, from being a kid. Just having him right here. This is, this is awesome. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little short impromptu review. I know a lot of you guys already have this. But, uh, it's been a long time coming for me. I've been wanting this for so long, but I'd be damned if I was going to pay that $20, $40, whatever random BS that the aftermarket wanted to charge. I mean, really. Um, I hate, I, I, I sometimes, sometimes I, I love aftermarket, but sometimes I hate it. In terms of, in terms of these cassette prices, I hate it. But anyhow, uh, I'm getting ready to sign off here. Uh, this has been Sardo Nuspa, the black gentleman. Out here doing God's work, viewing these figures. Please like, share, and subscribe. Try and get to 100. Almost there, guys. I'm almost there. But I mean, seriously. If I hit, once I hit 100, I might have to celebrate. Maybe uh, do another giveaway or something. But yeah. Uh, anyway, catch you guys later. Peace out. Oh